Putin's attempts to wage war in the spirit of the 19th century are a terrible strategy. Pentagon. Russian President Vladimir Putin's attempts to wage a 19th century war against Ukraine is a terrible strategy. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said this at a briefing after a meeting of the contact group on the defense of Ukraine, which was held in a virtual format. Putin's forces have opened another front to seize sovereign Ukrainian territory. Kremlin invaders are destroying Ukrainian villages, killing innocent civilians and bombing civilian infrastructure, including dams and power plants, Austin said. According to him, Ukrainian defenders are fighting a hard fight, but Russian troops are paying a high price for Putin's aggression. Putin is betting that eventually Ukraine will fall, and he's betting that this contact group will fall apart, but he's wrong, Austin said. The US Secretary of Defense stressed that Ukraine is fighting for its life, and this gives a strategic advantage to a just cause. Meanwhile, Putin is trying to wage a war of 19th century imperial aggression in 2024. This is a terrible idea and a terrible strategy, the Pentagon chief added. At the same time, Austin noted that Ukrainians fight with ingenuity and skill and also make excellent use of the opportunities they receive from allies and partners. Austin said that a constant flow of military and security assistance from the United States will be coming to Ukraine from week to week. In particular, the U.S. is speeding up the delivery of security assistance to Ukraine, which should make a difference on the battlefield. Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Charles Brown, answering a question about whether he agrees that the Ukrainians should use American weapons to defeat Russian troops located on Russian territory near the border with the Kharkiv region, said that the key point is in using the opportunities provided in close combat. Ukrainian army fired rockets at three Russian bases in Luhansk. A rocket attack was launched on the occupied city of Luhansk. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is reported that the French-made scalp missile launched by the Ukrainian army hit a base where Russian soldiers are stationed. There was an explosion and a fire in the area. No casualties are reported. It is also said that the Ukrainian army has attacked the bases of the soldiers of the occupying Russian army in the occupied cities of Dolzhensk and Rovenki of the Lugansk region with storm shadow missiles. Although it is said that there were victims during the incident, their number is not disclosed. Leonid Pesechnik, the leader of the Russia-installed administration of Ukraine's Luhansk region said that Kiev had used French-supplied missiles in an attack near the city of Luhansk. Pesechnik posted videos showing the aftermath of the alleged Ukrainian missile attack at a settlement near Luhansk. Writing in his telegram channel Pesechnik claimed that French-supplied cruise missile Scalp EG had been used in the strike, causing damage to several residential buildings and vehicles. He did not mention any fatalities or injuries. Luhansk is one of four regions of Ukraine that Russia partly occupies and claimed as its own in 2022 in a move condemned as illegal by Ukraine and most countries at the United Nations General Assembly. Yeah. 